Hi, I'm Maya, and I love to read. Today, I want to read a book called Dance is for Everyone by Andrea Zwill. And by the way, this boy is wearing a gray shirt like me, black pants like me, and black socks like me. And he has brown hair like me, but, well, my hair isn't as messy as his. <laughs> Miss Irena and her ballerinas were surprised. There was a new student in their dance class. They decided it was okay for her to join. Besides, who would be brave enough to tell a 450-pound alligator she couldn't? She didn't understand what was being said but she was great at following along. They were pleased that she didn't try to eat anyone, not even a nibble. Still, precautions were taken just in case the new student got hungry. After a while, they got used to having an alligator in their class. They started calling her Tanya because she bore a resemblance to the great prima ballerina, Madame Tanya Prefontaine. Tanya liked that a lot. Much like Madame Prefontaine, Tanya was very strong, a bit too strong and she didn't seem to know what was going on with her tail. The studio got a lot smaller when there was an alligator dancing in it. It was a problem. But what could they do? They didn't want to hurt her feelings. That might make her grumpy or bitey. Besides, they didn't speak alligator. Blah, 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 blah. Well, she didn't understand. Miss Irena and the students came up with an idea. They would create a dance for someone who was very large, very enthusiastic, and had a big, swishy tail. The next week, they started learning the new dance. It was called The Legend of the Swamp Queen. Tanya was overjoyed to have the lead role, the Swamp Queen. Miss Irena and the other students were happy to see her having so much fun. Also, they loved not getting hit by her tail. It was going so well that they agreed that the legend of the Swamp Queen would be the perfect piece for their upcoming recital. Giggle, giggle, giggle. <laughs> snargle, snargle. <laughs> On the big night, everyone giggled with nervous excitement. Then, the dance started. They all have those funky costumes. And the main swamp queen, with her tail tied up. So enthusiastic, so strong, what an unbelievably realistic alligator costume. The audience loved it. So when Tanya didn't show up for the next class, they wondered why. Weeks went by and Tanya was still missing. Then, one day, they received an invitation 
for a very special performance. The audience loved it. So he went back to his swamp and probably with his family and friends did a recital and invited them. The end. I love dancing. Have you ever taken a dance class? I have. It was super fun. Do you want to see a little video of me dancing? Thanks for watching! I hope you liked this book. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and maybe press the little bell ding-a-ling so when I post a new book, you can see it and know. Bye!